at this guy. They got the shortest cameraman ever. Oh, he's on his knees. Yeah. <laughs> Thought they hired a midget specifically for the purpose. <laughs> uh, I guess he's taller, huh? Yeah, I know. I'm not a big height guy. I'm 5'8". How tall are you? 5'7". Five, seven. Yeah, we're short. Oh, you're kind of big, aren't you? What, how tall are you? 5'11". Oh, you almost made six feet? <laughs> that must torture you to madness. We didn't even come close. It was never an entity. You're just like, shit, maybe if I crane my neck. <laughs> I hate those big, tough, tall guys, don't you, man? Those shocking 6'4 assholes. <laughs> Walking around with perfect posture. I hate those bastards. They work. I wouldn't work if I was 6'4. I just pick fruit. <laughs> Live off the land, giraffe man. 6'4. <laughs> Imagine the cell phone reception those assholes get. <laughs> can you hear me now? Yeah, I can hear you. I'm talking to Mars right now. <laughs> I don't get it, man. Oh, I don't understand. I've got to get my whole crap together. You know, that's the thing. It's just I don't like to do a lot, you know? As Canadians, we really don't, right? We just like things to be perfect and not really, really get in our way. You're tall, too. What, are you 6'2 or something? Six. Just six? Yeah, you got the long torso. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, if I was you, I'd just sit in cars and intimidate people. <laughs> Never get out and chase them on your short fucking legs. <laughs> World's tallest midget's after us. He's running. Let's walk away. <laughs> I don't like to do anything. That's the thing. I mean, I just like to complain and stuff, and that's it. I really don't like to do anything. Like, I, what, do you camp at all? Me neither. Camping's bizarre, isn't it? Why would you camp? It's completely uncivilized. There's nowhere to walk. It's full of bugs. Camping is shit. What, do you sleep under a sheet with a pole holding it up? I work so that doesn't happen to me. What the hell was that? <laughs> Sounded like my parakeet. <laughs> the hell kind of sound was that? If I was at the zoo, I'd look for that cage. What made that sound? <laughs> <laughs> Shit, it never ends. You can't fake a shitty laugh like that, huh? <laughs> Oh, I don't get it, man. I can't camp like I'm saying. I just wouldn't do it. What's the point of camping? I mean, you've got to get fish, I guess, for the tropical fish tank. Uh, sorry, saltwater fish. <laughs> Didn't mean to belittle that achievement of yours. You've got to know exactly how much salt to put in that tank. <laughs> you do, don't you? Uh, yeah. yeah, I don't fish. You never know what you're going to pull out. What a shitty idea. Put the rod and hold it over the end of the boat and have the line go in the water. Oh shit, the suspense is killing me. <laughs> Anything can come out of here. What if it's an eel? Jesus. Catch an eel? Shit! You'd panic. Shut up. Who'd take an eel off a hook? I would never do that. I'd throw the whole rod back in the water. And tow that around for the rest of your life, you giant water worm. <laughs> Gotta meet the right woman, no man. The last relationship I had just fell apart. It was horrible, miserable. She was 6'4. <laughs> Wasn't a good choice. She liked me. She was 6'4. We'd walk down the street holding hands. I looked like a fucking monkey. <laughs> I just make the wrong decisions all the time. That's the way I am, buddy. I just don't make the right decisions. 
this. Oh, I gotta try to get better, but I can't. I keep making mistake after mistake after mistake. That's why my life falls apart. It's awful. I try, but I can't. I fail. Man, gotta meet the right woman. Gotta meet the right girl. Gotta meet the right person for me. That's the whole key. Then you're happy. That's what happiness is, right? When you, you know, you're on your deathbed and, and your wife is hanging over you. You want to be able to look up and before you die, hear her last words. I'm taking half your shit. <laughs> yeah, it's so bizarre. Our army, we just don't fight. We just don't care, man. We just don't. We just want to wake up and stand there and live our own lives. Just leave us alone, America. Quit picking fights with other countries. We don't care. Shit. You keep fighting these guys, we're going to lose all our cab drivers. <laughs> It's funny, I'm gonna do that one again. <laughs> oh, all these things we have to worry about too. As, you, as adults, that's the thing, you know, your kids are just they're worried about who got the stronger punch, who punches the guy harder. You get older, man, shit changes, doesn't it? You got a good job though, right? You're happy? You happy? What job? What do you do? You work where? Planes. You make planes? Good thinking. <laughs> For who? Airliners. You mean airlines, right? <laughs> Shit, you're a bad salesman, aren't you? Any airliners around? <laughs> Who do you, what kind of plane do you make? Uh, 70 to uh, 110 seater planes. Oh, shit, 110 seat planes. Yeah, for Air Canada? What a miserable company they are, aren't they? You ever fly them? You see, you won't even fly them and you make the planes. <laughs> Shit idea, man. You gotta take Air Canada. No, this has got no competition. WestJet? What the hell is that? What if you gotta go east? <laughs> Bastard's taking the long way around, isn't he? Yeah, they just yell at you on the plane now. It's not like it used to be flying, huh? When they looked after you, they used to give you a meal. Now they throw peanuts at your head. You catch them, you can keep them. <laughs> Air Canada is bizarre, but it's all we got, and we got to keep it going, right? We, everything Canadian, we have to keep going. Tim Hortons, it's owned by Canadians, right? Thank God. Uh, nobody really knows the answer to that. But we think it is, so we line up around the block for it. Could be owned by the Chinese, we don't care. They have the best coffee. And that's all we care about because, you know, we want to keep it in Canada. We don't have a lot of companies here. We don't have Walmart. That's not Canadian. Do we have Canadian Tire? It still exists? Good. You ever walk into Canadian Tire? They're out of their minds, aren't they? They got, they got, they're selling his planes in Canadian Tire. <laughs> The 140 seat plane. I'm looking for a 140 seater for my airliner. <laughs> Aisle 16, thank you. <laughs> when did this guy show up? <laughs> Look at him. If I threw my water at him, he'd never see it coming. <laughs> Then I'd move over there, and you'd go, no, he didn't do anything. <laughs> now you're laughing. Get the shot, asshole. <laughs> Keep it steady. Look at a guy holding the cord. He's laughing, too. You ever just not give him enough slack so he falls flat on his fucking face? <laughs> That's what I'd do if I had your job. I love you people. Oh, Montreal, my favorite city. I broke from here. Who hung their filthy, stinking underpants from 1946 right there? Who chose those to hang behind me? Get a shot of that shit. And he does, he listens to me. Well, don't put me in the shot. Then it looks like they're my underpants. Will you pull the cord on this asshole?
ah, but we live and we live our lives and we try to do the best we can in this world and what's left of our lives anyway, you know? We got plenty of it, you know? You guys are happy together. Look, you're holding her hand and stuff, you know? Yeah. He's got the kids. It was tough, wasn't it, when they first, you know? Babies. Ugh. I'm not against it. I'm just saying it's difficult. Your children are here and they've grown up to be magnificent specimens of the human race. <laughs> However, when they were babies, good Lord, that was a shock, wasn't it? Yeah, human babies, what? They don't come out ready like other animals. <laughs> Completely helpless. Look at a horse, gets right up on its feet, where the fuck's the hay, it's gone. <laughs> Why can't we have those? Our babies, their, their skull hasn't closed yet. If you drop them, they die. Somehow that's your fault. <laughs> How do you explain that in court? I slipped. <laughs> <laughs> you have to look after them, they, you know, because they're dumb. They don't. If you forget to feed them, they die. You can leave a fridge open all day, a baby will never make a plate for it. <laughs> How do you explain that one in court? <clears throat> there was ham and eggs in that fridge, Your Honor. He had every opportunity. He just stared at it like this. Yeah. He might be retarded. <laughs> oh, let's face it. Testicles? You'd be furious. If it was reversed and you had balls, ladies, you would be out of your mind with anger. You couldn't handle having those dangling down there daily be like carrying a purse that never matched your outfit. <laughs> you don't even like them on us, face it. You just pretend. <laughs> they hurt too, guys. Guys know, and you know little about it, but you know, okay, I'm gonna tell you something, it's a secret. You've all seen a guy take a shot, there, down he goes, it's, it's over. Well, here's something really weird that you don't know. A man has the unique ability of doing it to himself. He can sit on his own ball. Did you know that? <laughs> he'll never tell you that either. He'll be at dinner, he'll sit down and get this look on his face. <laughs> oh, what's wrong? I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> Tell me. All right, I sat on my ball, okay. You sat on your ball. How can that even happen? How uncoordinated are you? You don't see me sitting on my boobs. No, not yet. 